Hello everybody, it's nice to be here once again. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it, as always. Let's talk about false prophets. I'm not going to do a deep study right now into this. Um, obviously, why would I do a deep dive into it as I'm driving? Kind of impossible to do. So, let's talk about false prophets. They are at an all-time high right now. Whether you see them on YouTube or uh, documentaries or you come across them in your daily life that they claim to be false prophets. I'm sorry, they don't claim to be false prophets. Sorry, they claim to be prophets. Here's the thing about this. There are going to be even more false ones than they are now. Have you tried them by the spirits? Have you tried the fruit? Have you figured this out? Have you seen the fact that they do not or will not or cannot live by the word of God? They will live by so many other words along the way, some sort of this and some sort. They'll blend in science. They'll blend in uh, new age things. They'll blend in. So I squinted my eyes. A little piece of snow flew up. You ever do that? Sorry for the interruption of the study. You flinch and like, wait a minute, that snow's not going to hit me. Ay, ay, ay. Um, those of you that drive on the weather, you know what I'm talking about. But there are going to be all those influence in, in their lives that convince them that they're prophets. They're not prophets. Take for, for instance, years ago, I had a vision of my life at the age of 30. And this is going back some years, clearly, because I'm not 30 anymore. So, and I interpreted it wrong to, to dream. I thought I was going to be dead at 30 because my vision was really, really clear about everything I've ever known was going to change, or I should say end. And who I was before the age of 30 was just going to end, and it, nothing will be the same. It's over. That life is over. So what I didn't realize, I thought, I'm like, wow, I'm going to be dead by the age of 30. I just got a vision. I'm going to be dead by 30. This is crazy. Turns out at the age of 30, I got married. I had a new son. I walked away from all the things I was involved in, uh, people I knew. And I originally became a Christian and I got saved. Oh, 19. Anyways, earlier than 30. Years before 30. And... And I had walked up that path, and I was, I was hungry to know God. And the discipleship, and I'll, I'll talk about that another time, the discipleship was just not there. And now I believe you can get saved anywhere, almost anywhere. But when you do truly get saved, the bad place you are in, God will take you out of. And I know it takes a little longer for others than some. But that doesn't make me a prophet. In no way did that vision, well, someone will well, look at you, you're a prophet, you saw the future. No, I personally had a vision. I had a dream, and there it is. And of course, I misinterpreted the whole thing. So even those who have dreams uh, and call themselves prophets, maybe they're misinterpreting it, and they consider themselves prophets. But more times than not, these men or women who prophesy, who are prophets, claim to be prophets. You get one of them wrong, you're all done as a prophet. That's just strictly in the Bible. You're not a prophet. There are so many people who think they're prophets. You are not a prophet. Everybody under the sun is not gifted with the ability to prophesy. Go to 1 Corinthians on that one. Now I'll be wrong to you 13 or 14. I'm always forgetting which one it is. It talks about those things. So when you see someone that, that they tell you that they're a prophet, try them. Try them. Not test them to prophesy about something. Try them. Look at their lives. Nobody's perfect, Stephen. And that's a cop-out, by the way. That is such a cop-out. That, that is what happens when people know they've been convicted of sin. They know they're wrong and they know that they're of sin. They're full of sin. And they know that. No one's perfect. Or they'll, they'll do this to you. Well, I'm not as bad as him. I'm only doing this. Well, that doesn't justify what you do. Because he's a murderer and you're a drug addict doesn't mean that justifies what you do for drugs. At least I'm not killing people. You're still sinning. 
That's a person who's not does not want to be held accountable for their sins. And by the way, you'll find out that there are some prophets out there who get involved in some weird things. Weird new agey stuff. So I didn't want to make this too long. Um, but just beware of the false prophets. They're at an all-time high. You're going to see them left and right. Be very wary. Dig. Match them with the scriptures. And even though, they, I'll tell you what, even though that you can do that, that's tough sometimes too. Because who else knows the scripture pretty well other than God, obviously? Satan. So he can work in somebody, but there are things about people that they cannot get rid of. They can fool you for 10 minutes maybe, but not for a long haul. They'll eventually expose themselves. I'm just saying. So again, be wary of fall. I am not a prophet. I have never called myself a prophet. I never claimed to be a prophet, nor will I sit here and ever claim I'm a prophet. If I get if I'm fortunate enough that God for God to show me something, that is awesome. If it's off in the future and it happens, that's great. If you oh, you know another thing. These prophets about Trump and history and all this other nonsense. These men are studiers of history. I know because I study history. And when I saw prophets say things, and this is going back a few years, and I look at it going, uh, no dirt. You know what I mean? I'm like, clearly that's what's going to ha happen. If you study history, these things are going to unfold. But, they, but the problem is, we don't know enough about history to understand that the old saying comes true in most cases. History repeats itself. So this video did go on longer than I wanted it to, but please, be very, very wary of false prophets. I'm not saying that, oh, I just can't trust anybody anymore. There's a lot of deception, and it's not just outside the world. It's in the church buildings. It's in the Christian you believe, and, and be very wary of what you share with certain people who call themselves Christians. Because they could be the ones that turn around and have you persecuted. Be very careful. You stick with the word of God, you're going to be good. Thank you for tuning in as usual. God bless. I love you. Have a great day.